Hey guys, Guitar Man 1225 out here, back again with another Superman related review. This time we're going to be looking at the DC Collectibles Supergirl TV show Supergirl. This is based off of Melissa Benoist's uh, performance slash appearance as Supergirl. So uh, let's take a quick look at the packaging before we dive in. You can see we have the Supergirl logo. In the background we have a, a picture of Supergirl against the Superman slash, well, House of L really, uh, symbol. We have four sets of interchangeable hands, closed fist, uh, slightly open, and then palms out. And we have Supergirl on the side. On this back side, we have other figures available in the figures that have just been released. We got Constantine, Vixen, Supergirl, and Martian Manhunter. On the side, we have a picture of the figure followed by the uh, House of L logo. At the top, we have the Supergirl series logo. Bottom, nothing much. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up. And, I'll be right. and here we have Supergirl out of the packaging, and uh, this looks pretty good. A uh, little limited in articulation, as you can see I've swapped out the hands from the open palms to some closed fists for a more dynamic pose. And, uh, well, I think this figure looks pretty good. It's a passable resemblance to Melissa Benoist. I remember seeing the uh, the promo image for what the prototype would look like. And uh, it looked kind of bad. It wasn't something that I was really interested in. Uh, well, I was going to pick it up anyway because Superman family and devotion to the characters. Uh, but this one looks so much better. Absolutely. Uh, I love the color scheme on here. Uh, this little figure. Uh, especially on this cape. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a lot of shadowing going on like right around here with the folds on the cape. It looks very nice. The hair looks very, very good. I think that's a really nice amount of detail that they've put into this little figure. So uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look. As you can see on the face, it looks pretty good. Uh, there aren't any major blemishes or paint defects that I can spot. Uh, a lot of clean line work, which is really impressive. Uh, not that DC Collectibles is known for their bad production and uh, bad quality control, but every now and then you get a figure that kind of just slips through the cracks, and uh, you, you just kind of get a, a little bit of a a little bit of a paint error. I haven't seen anything on this figure so far. Right now, a lot of the the coloring is nice and tight and clean, which is really impressive and just makes this figure pop so much more. As you can see, there is a lot of detail work on the color for her hair. And, uh, you know, you got the blondes and the, the little bits of blacks for the shadowing. And you got some, some little bits of uh, kind of like a, a copper or a brown going on through there. Just little bits, just to, to really accentuate the, uh, the individual, I guess, clusters of hairs. I don't know if that's the proper terminology that you would use for that. Let's go ahead and look at the detailing on the suit. So as you can see on the suit, there's a little bit of a textured detail. It's got a little bit of a metallic sheen to it, which looks really, really nice. Uh, you can, if you uh, have the figure in your hands, you can feel that they did put some texture work onto the suit. And that just, that, that sells this figure for me. I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, it's probably not going to show up too well, but actually you probably can see it right here. You can see the, the red stitching right here that just kind of uh, covers her suit. Uh, it's very, very small detail, but uh, and, and it very easily could have just been looked over. But I'm so glad that they decided to put that in there. Uh, as you can see on the hands right here, you have the little, uh, I don't know what you would call it, just the little thing where her son, uh, her, can't speak today. Her thumb slides into that little uh, little piece right here at the end of her sleeve. Now let's take another look at the cape. You can see a lot of the uh, the minute uh, details right here. You can see all the shadows, and it, it just really plays well with the light. It's absolutely gorgeous. That looks nice. Okay, we can see the uh, the boots down here. We got a nice gold for the belt buckle. And that just looks superb. Uh, you can see the same level of shading and detailing went into the skirt and her pantyhose right here. Or are they stockings? I don't know. I, it's out of my uh, line of expertise. The boots look pretty nice here too. A lot of uh, sculpting going on. 
a lot of uh, detail work with the intricate little creases that would be produced uh, by wearing them. You can see some stitching right here on the side, or uh, well, not really stitching. It looks just more like a, a design pattern, but that it's there. So that is wonderful. At the bottom, she has one peg hole, and uh, yeah. Very nice. It stands pretty well. So let's go ahead and look at the articulation. Supergirl can slightly move her head, looks down a little bit, not really, and looks up, but that's to be expected. You have the hair covering both the back and the front, uh, so don't expect a lot of articulation out of that. There is no waist rotation. There is a hinge at the elbow, or not the elbow, sorry, the, uh, the arm, a rotation right here. You get a, uh, a bicep swivel. So it's at the very end, you get a bend at the elbow, you get a uh, twist of the wrist, and of course the wrists, uh, they have a hinge, all of them do. So uh, let's put that back a little bit, make a little... And uh, for the legs, uh, she can do the splits about that much, kick forward that much, and back barely. You have a uh, double jointed leg right here. I can get it to go. There we go. Yeah, you get double jointed knee, which is uh, pretty neat, but that's kind of hindered by the fact that we can only go up and down with these uh, these feet. There is no ankle pivot, which really really limits the amount of posability that you can get out of these figures, or at least this one in particular, which is really sad because you want a you want a Supergirl that's standing very heroically. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the hands. So here's the hand for the open-handed, uh, well, hand, I guess. It's got a very nice flesh tone, and uh, it has a really nice glimmer to that suit. Like I said, there's a little bit of a paint blemish on the, uh, the middle and, uh, I guess, ring finger would be, yeah, that, that's the middle and ring finger. Yeah, uh, apparently I don't know my fingers. Uh, and you can see that there is uh, some detail work on the fingernails, which is really nice. It's a very nice little detail that they really didn't have to do. And you can kind of see the texture on both the skin and the suit, which is really nice. And I'm loving the detail that's my, that my uh, camera is able to capture on this hand because it is really small. Now, I can't really imagine what you would be able to get out of this hand. There's not much to it. It's just kind of supposed to be holding something, I guess. So if you have that, uh, that Supergirl figure, the New 52 Supergirl figure, you could probably give her that, uh, that green crystal, but I, I don't know what else you would use this for. It's just kind of a, a weird hand to have. And again, you can see the detailing on the fingernails and the suit. Still, uh, th there's a little, uh, paint blemish right here and one on the middle finger. But, uh, all in all, that's pretty high level quality right there. And then here is one of the fists. Uh, you can see a little bit of a paint blemish on the index finger and some of the paint doesn't entirely go through on the sleeve. But all in all, it's not too bad. I don't, there we go, it's focused now. Not too bad. You can still see that texturing coming through very nicely. Very nice blue. I love the shade that they chose for this. It's, it looks great. And as with all of the DC collectibles figures, you pretty much just snap the hands back in. I definitely enjoy this figure. Actually, let's put a pop figure in the frame for size comparison. So here is the Wonder Woman standard figure. It stands uh, maybe about a, another pop head on top of that would be about the, the size of that. So yeah, it's pretty good scale. Um, it definitely looks better than the multiverse Supergirl figure. Definitely less, uh, well, less non-Melissa Benoist looking. Actually, I have the first season Blu-ray right here. Let's pull that out for a picture reference. So as you can see, it's a passing resemblance. It's not bad. i got to say, I, I'm thoroughly impressed by this figure. If you like what you see here, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys next time.